I just damn curious. Minister can have angkong, right? Then he take out his. Sure, sure. <laughs> what does a Singaporean minister really do? This is your daily catch up. Okay, good morning, Singapore. Special news today. We have Minister Chan Chun Singh with us and mm. we are very lucky to have him now to tell us what does a minister really do? Because... <laughs> 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 How they make that dough? <laughs> <laughs> On to the episode. <laughs> Them creams, yeah. <laughs> How they make that dough? <laughs> yes, yeah, so Dining. Minister, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Or like, what is work, something uh, that people don't realise that you do? Down. What do I... But every day is different, uh, so it's very hard to tell, you see. Sometimes we fight fires because sometimes you know, things just happen and then you got to go and deal with it. Sometimes mm. you have your routine things like the type that you, know, you go and do in school visits, talk to children, talk to... Parents, fun or not, uh, those kind. A school visit is always fun. Every school is different. Oh yeah, you also cannot say not fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So which one is your favorite school? <laughs> <laughs> when you talk to the kids and uh, you talk to the teachers, you always find out something about them. You always learn something about them. And you 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 shouldn't go into school visit and say uh, with a stereotypical image, uh, oh this school is like that, that school is like yeah. that, and then they, I think their children are like that. No, no, it's not like that one. Every school there's always something interesting one. Then the best thing is that, you know, they'll bring you around, right? Then you purposely go somewhere else. Uh. Then you'll see some other interesting things. Uh. Yeah, because I would oh, think that if you're going to visit a school, right, right. they will handpick the A student, prep the question for yeah. them. So yeah. usually they donate. Uh. So I usually don't need them to pick anyway, because I just walk around, right? Yeah. So sometimes they like, so uh, then they are hard. Yeah. Yeah. the first few school, everybody quite kanchong one, right? So they are minister coming, minister mm. coming, you know, must clean the floor, put up mm. everything properly. Did but, we clean the floor? <laughs> but, uh, but after a while, you know, if you go to school every other day, right? So. Yeah, the they, they also said already. Yeah. You've got the yeah. time to prepare for all this. So you just be your natural self. Huh? So then I talk to the kids, talk to the teachers, talk to the principals, and sometimes I talk to the parents. Then you'll find out something different, huh? right? right like yeah. In my school last time, right, they purposely don't pick the A students. Right? They pick all the troublemakers for like no huh. reason. Just so that like they will like, <laughs> bring a bit of character. Means your school uh, got a certain kind of standard. Uh, Neighborhood school don't gamble like that one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need funding, yo. <laughs> but we have fun because like, like for example, we get into trouble, right? Then yeah. the teacher will be like, you, come. We just want to see you, right? Yeah. Then we talk about kind of trouble. It's like, no, no. We need you to be the face of the school. Then we're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, lah. Sometimes, you, you know, so once I say that, oh, oh then, hey, can I go toilet? Uh? Uh. <laughs> toilet? Means I need to be? Then that is like, Mr. You, you, need, you uh, need to pee. Yeah. Yeah. We never cleaned the toilet yet. <laughs> he's like, uh, wait, the toilet is there. He said, no, no, here, got one toilet very near one. Right. Let's just go in. Uh. Right. Then they also very natural. Then they go in, uh, then go in. Then, but you all go in together. No, of course not. <laughs> 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 I assume you're all going in together. So they say, oh, point for the toilet. Then, come then you also learn something. Then you come out like, eh, the toilet a bit old. Uh, mm. So, uh, you know, got any problem or not. Then they'll tell you things. So. Mm. You see, mister, this toilet, actually the toilet is still functional. But then uh, the toilet seat uh, spoiled already because the model so old uh, cannot get a toilet seat. So how? Right. Uh, so but they need some. Uh, uh, right. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, that's why you are there also, yeah. uh, correct? No, that's to see why how you want to see uh. the natural yeah. self, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then, but they were trying to say, maybe the toilet door very low, because it's all like, they're all very short, right, the kids? <laughs> no, no, the, then the, you go the, and take the a shit there and then you're like... That one uh, is kindergarten. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can a minister apply leave? Like how many leave you have in a year? Oh, uh, okay, this is what I learned before. Once upon a time, uh, when I first became a minister, <laughs> then I, I wanted to go on leave. No? Then I asked my, ask, 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 ask my PA, I said, uh, uh, got, got leave form or not? No? Yeah. You know, last time we were SAF, you apply leave, I must have leave yeah. form or not? Mm. Right. Then, then my PA looked at me like, Minister, you want to go on leave? Uh? You write to the PM? No? Oh, <laughs> I think then, better don't think. Then right. I was like, huh? write to a PM? How to write? He said, no, you just drop PM an uh, email. Uh. They said, oh, okay, got template. Uh. Say, don't have a, you just drop PM an email, then you tell PM why you go and leave. Yeah, okay, lor. but actually right. not so bad. Right? You say, and he, and he PM, will agree, like, it's just you need PM to go will, to a very scary step. Like. PM will just say that uh, <laughs> PM trusts you, right? Yeah. It's like, you need to work, you work, uh, then you don't need to work, you don't pretend to work, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. you need to go and leave, we're also not Iron Man, right? So when you need to go and take a break, you take a break. We also all have families, we have kids, yeah. right? So cannot be. Wait, but at that time, PM was Mr. Lee, right? Mr. Lee Kuan Yew? Yeah. No, no, no. My, my time, I know so old. Uh, my time, uh, hey, 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 PM, if, one if, PM, if my PM is Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, that means uh, I join in I my think my time, you know. <laughs> Wait, but Mr. Shamogam. Sorry, PM she's a child, okay? I apologize. She's like, she's no, no, just no, no, hitting no, her 20s on it. There are 
how many people in cabinet uh, was uh, were MPs uh, when uh, Mr Lee Kuan Yew was PM? I think only two. Uh. Uh, our current PM, uh, Mr. Lee Hsien Loong, Shana, Shana, right? I think these are the two uh, most senior uh-huh. ones. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when I joined, uh, my, the PM is already Mr. Lee Hsien Loong, but uh-huh. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew was my GRC anchor. Mm. Uh, what do you do on weekends? Mm. Weekends, uh, actually weekends are busiest. Yeah, because for I us, weekend so. means uh, constituency activities, right? So oh. usually Saturday morning, you will have a market visit, house visit, then you have some other activities, then you will last through the day. Uh, hopefully by the evening, you have some time with your family. Uh. But it all depends, you see, because I think COVID, we were lucky. COVID, because you yeah. don't have a lot of physical activities, right? So you yeah. have Zoom uh, meetings. But once now that COVID is passing us by, so all the activities all come back. Uh. So sometimes your weekend can be totally packed. Uh. Right. So like su- Sunday also, no break. Uh, Sunday, I try to keep it free at least Sunday morning because uh, then Ayoh, I can attend service. Putting. Yeah. So it's it's day, I, I must say this, I must say this. Y'all yeah. go, don't go around and say that, oh no, minister uh. got no time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't say this. No. I'm very scared when y'all say this. Uh. Say oh. this yeah. So when you become a minister, right? Do they teach you, like, is there a yeah, course yeah. how to yeah. become minister. a minister? How I to behave, have, how to... Huh? Actually, be- becoming a minister, nobody teach you anything. Uh. Every day you are still learning something. Uh. Right. And like today come here also, cause skills future. Uh, no. Uh, because uh, <laughs> no, seriously, I always learn something uh, when I come for this type of filming one. Every mm. setup is different one. Right, so right. when I first went for so is this very budget? Thing, yeah, I was cool. No, I was or budget or what? What tier are you on? No, actually, I I don't know one because until I see budget. the product. Bad. Uh, also, a lot of time they you film 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 right? They tell you hey, you do this, you do that. Uh, then you sit down there like why why you do this? Because I cannot understand. You know, like, right? What are you doing? But because the director, they whoever is cutting the thing, editing the thing, they know right what they are looking for. So sometimes you may think that eh, I said something wrong or did something very stupid. Huh? Right. Then they come out like, eh, not lay. So so because I'm artistically challenged, right? So I don't know what people are doing, right? <laughs> so oh, that must pronounce properly, huh? Yeah. Very stressed one. Uh, because uh, especially now MOE uh, minister. So when I first went to MOE, I don't know I stress or my my, my people stress because they say, hey, you MOE minister. Oh yeah, that one period they laugh at your English. They, they right? say you can pronounce your word properly or not, right? Yeah. Wow. Then, then can you don't, one sentence, I've uh, got so many languages. Uh, right, uh, right, right, right. Uh, but who tells you that? Who gives yeah. you this yeah, kind of feedback? brave enough to do? No, no, of course the staff will tell you. Uh, but MOE right. teacher is very good one. MOE is like, it's okay, minister, try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they have to do that for the students. Uh, they, they, they won't like, wow, oh, minister, what you say is wrong thing wrong. They won't yeah. score you one. Uh, mm. They're like, minister, try Of course they won't score me. <laughs> 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 minister, try one more time. Hey, yeah, yeah, say, uh, on board, on board, <laughs> there, really, on board. Say one more time, one more time. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. So, so Hello. Is, uh, because you got your English speech, you got your yeah. Chinese speech, and sometimes yeah. you got your Malay speech, right? So MOE uh, very nurturing, uh, so I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. So you need to do all three. Uh, sometimes you have to give speeches in all three, right? If you want to be uh, good, uh. Yeah. Do you know you were CDF? Yeah. Were you were CDF, right? No, I'm not CDF. You're right? not CDF. I'm COA only. COA. Yeah. What is that? Chief of Army. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The whole army. <laughs> the one army. Only got one now. Only got one. Of army, what the hell? <laughs> the medal so big. Uh. Wait, what is that? Like, like what? What was that like? What was Being that chief like? of army, yeah. This is what, what one of my senior taught me. Uh. You know what's the definition of success for the the SAF or the army, right? He said, uh, "Is that like you build up the capability, you retire the capability, and nobody know." Right. Mm. Uh, uh, but so SAF is also another of those long cycle one, uh, because you do today, right? You won't know what yeah. happens one night. Yeah. Yeah. Then you hopefully retire. Then oh, you're very proud. Never have to use it. Mm. Uh, mm. So every time when you go and see NDP, right? You mm. see the NDP show, right? Then you oh, the, the, the what dynamic display come out, right? Then you sit down. <laughs> then those people who have been <laughs> finally like, can take out and use it. <laughs> like, oh, okay la, okay la. Yeah. Clearly you are you are seasoned already, right? At some point, right? But in you y- in your be. early political years, right? You had you had quite a rough start, right? No, you will never be seasoned. Uh. Like, like for example, like, uh, you know, when you come and give a speech, right? My first speech, everybody uh-huh. remember it as a key chew speech, uh, right? Uh-huh. But uh, you know, we were thinking right before the podcast, before he arrived, like don't know whether he can say it or this key chew no. thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, he comes his own <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, you see, you, you you look back, right? Some people say, "Hey, so is that your mistake?" Uh-huh. Uh, so it depends on what's your uh, what's your horizon, uh. Yeah. If you look at it, the here and now, uh, yeah, 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 see, wow, see, minus point already. People, people laugh at you. People yeah. laugh at you and things like that. But there was a serious message uh, in that, right? It was just because of the way we speak and we used to speak just amongst friends because I treat the audience like my yeah. friends. Do you have a BFF minister? 
like a, f- a uh, friend foreign Singapore in Singapore. Wow, wow. Can Actually, we all, we all all work quite... <laughs> we all work together as a team. We all don't have this thing called BFF. Otherwise, uh, the whole cabinet is like, yeah, I like, don't yeah, friend like. you today, I don't work with you. Don't have, right. la, don't have such thing. Uh, so there's no one that you will hang out with outside of work? We all got time to hang out outside work. Oh. One. <laughs> we got outside work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, in fact, uh, so, sometimes I'm uh, okay, they are real sorry also. Uh, sometimes people say that, hey, then they all like to see, right, when the two ministers walk together in an event, right? They come mm. to the event. Uh, some event got more than one minister. Right? Yeah. Then they say, hey, they all walk together or not? Actually, our rule is, uh, don't walk together. Oh, you know why? Okay. When you go to an event, you're supposed to talk to people, right? Then you keep talking to your your, right. your own minister. Then the people look at you, you sombong or what? Mm. Right. You networking one on one. That's me. That's me at networking events. Uh, I've heard we are together. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're not, not together enough in the office, man. You yeah. go down there. You also no, but we don't want there. to be there. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then you see, uh, then some people say, hey, you see the two of them don't talk to one another. Actually, we are not trying to talk to one another in the event. We yeah. are trying to talk to other people, get to know other people, mm. and hear from other people, listen to other people. Then we come back, we are compare notes. Ah. We, we all go to an event, <laughs> then, talk to me, you talk to me, then, yeah, yeah. then after that, the rest of people like, yeah. look yeah, at yeah, you, yeah. a bit funny, right? Become unapproachable, so la, talk yeah. to two ministers at once. Yeah. Then we got two ministers, go to the event, talk, talk, talk amongst themselves, then, then ignore the rest of them. Mm. Ah. You got questions for us, no? <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of questions for you. Oh, really? <laughs> How do you all come together and, and set up this, uh, business show? this uh, show how do you come together we wanted to create a podcast because we realized that at, at, at one period we were discussing just like hacking life and then we we're talking about ebooks then after that he went into he introduced me this podcast that is this basically these two guys that pretend in the end we realized they pretend to read the book then they will just tell you the gist of the book which is great lah right oh. so anyway then we were thinking okay let's create a podcast and we the company itself has created multiple shows before right and so in a podcast we also don't know what we're looking for and we try like a few different formats like I mean we invited like you know famous people or thinkers that we admire to come in and, and it just didn't feel correct until one day we decided and all four of us do content strategy in this company so we say okay why don't four of us just try yeah. <laughs> that was it. Then we watch it. Then like, yeah. yeah. We tried try. for six months to like one year, right? Yeah, like yeah. with multiple different shows, like different angles and all that. Then yeah. end up, it's just us. Yeah. yeah, yeah the department was, that I was so, thinking about this, <laughs> which has been very disruptive to our work. Now we cannot get things done. <laughs> I suppose the formula will keep adjusting on, right? Because the people's attention, what they look out for, keep. It's not just the content keep changing, right? Even the the channel which they access information how they see things, I think. Mm. So you all must have quite a good feel of you know, what are people thinking about, what are people mm, yeah. concerned about, right? I, I, think, I think within the local context also of, of, of YouTube, right? And, and content, we, we were trying to plug this hole where like, there wasn't a lot of deep conversations going on mm. about current affairs or things that people are afraid to talk about online. Mm. And we felt that we could create a tone and space for that here. So we will say things that can get us canceled, right? But because people understand the tone that we have established for the show, mm. they, we won't get canceled. That's why the show needs to be this long. Yeah. yeah they give us patience yeah. to explain why we say certain yeah. things. If you look at certain <laughs> articles, right? Like when something happened, there's always very binary. People that cite something that happened, people that mm. oppose something that happens, right? And then in an article that's tried to be fair, then you feel like the article is trying to sidestep both sides until it's not saying anything. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like they give you both points and then it's so brief, right? And But then there could be two very strong opposing arguments mm. that could be made about the same event. Right? And I think that was what we were trying to create. Yeah. It's yeah, like it's one of the things I always tell people was that one day the ideated uh, episode, then after that we talk finished already, we, we thought we should work now. And then the comment section agree. Then we're like, okay, we got something. <laughs> well, how often, how many episodes do you do a week? Twice a week. Twice a week. So the, the so-called ideation, uh, mm. well, that must be quite tough. But every day mm, but got very news. Good. So then usually mm. we just look at what news people are most talking about, right? And then uh. is there a deeper conversation to be Okay, let's say like, not this episode. Let's like, say mm-hmm. like the next two, three episodes, what will you be doing? When you leave, we are filming it some more. So, so, we're gonna, so another one could be like, we talk about like the National Day rally, rally uh-huh. and then we give our commentary. We look at like, for example, what Singaporeans are talking about with, when it comes to certain specific points. Is there a conversation mm. or a debate to be had there? Can that discussion take place here? Like does Can the we go, get for 377 mean anything for the game? Yeah, does yeah. it do more or less for, yeah. yeah. So it's topical issues. Uh. Uh, mm. yeah, but mm. also seeing what the wider conversation But not always so serious. Uh. I got a lot of very bolea ones. Also, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like what? Like got one is the a boyfriend Gossip, and girlfriend. Uh. Then the girlfriend is on her period, but she insists <laughs> <laughs> staying at the boyfriend's house while it happens and she don't want to wear pet. 
Then, so she won't bleed over his bed. Yeah, then the boyfriend is very stressed about it and then he write about it on Reddit. Then we reply. Then we help her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we help him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we help him. <laughs> <laughs> he regret okay. asking it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're free to join us. I have no subject knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> we also don't have do we? Yeah, just make sound. Make sound. Make sound. We need to normalize talking about periods. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we bought a pet. Okay, I think it needs to go so. <laughs> Wait, I have a super random question, but I just damn curious. Minister can have Ang Kong, right? Then he take out his. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so fashionable, right? I'm not so fashionable. Actually, no, can minister or not? Can or not? You have, right? You don't have one small dragon behind. I, how do I know whether other ministers have? Like, I feel like, like no, you, you they're never going to ask every minister <laughs> to go to the show. <laughs> no, but like, declare one. Yeah, yeah, you all go like, Korean yeah. spa then. You all have retreat even got pool party. Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't have pool party. Uh. <laughs> hey, friend, can you show Nobody me your tattoo? Nobody still want to see anybody topless. Eh? But nowadays, uh, Hong Kong quite different, right? Nowadays, you all got put on stick stick then after that, three months later, change one. Uh, right? yeah. uh. last, time, last time, the Hong Kong is really Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, no, now still point very point. real. Now more still <laughs> very real. So now this one, I, I see, I don't know which one real, which one not real. You no, but, the temporary but one you see, la. I got like full sleeve, right? Yeah. Can I try to become a minister? Can. You come for tea party, la, then we all. <laughs> tea party, that sounds damn dangerous, yeah. Actually, it's not the decide what. No, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just a thing. It's an yeah. election, one. Like if you if you have an Kong, then just like, if people cannot, will vote for you, you cannot, cannot even. You no, know, but it might be party policy. Yeah, to right. join a GRC cannot maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But right. quite you, interesting. Actually, if you want to come and serve, you just let us know lah. Then we'll uh, be more uh, than happy. <laughs> we'll more than welcome you to to join us. I feel like um, now more than ever, nobody wants the job. Don't say like that. Like that, like that we'll nobody come come and take over us. How but do we it, it's, it's what I feel. Uh, is there a sense of like? Underappreciation because as politicians, you guys are so like the smartest people yeah. in the country, I would say, right? But then, like, does it feel like you guys are underappreciated? You you cannot go into this uh, thinking that uh, you want people to, uh, you know, yeah. whatever you do is very long term. So you cannot be every day like uh, mm. mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh, am I the fairest of them? Oh, you cannot do this. Uh. <laughs> <I> cannot, <laughs> he, he uh, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. okay. you cannot, cannot, right? Then, True. on the other hand, then some of the things that you do. You also cannot tell people, so mm. you, you cannot go around. So if you, if you cannot take it like that, uh, then probably it's not the job for you, lah. Yeah, yeah, it's not the yeah. not the job. Like if you need a lot of words of affirmation, I think you're screwed, like, in this job. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, okay, okay. I got another one. So I think I want to ask this to every minister we interview. <laughs> but, uh, what is a interesting takeaway or life lesson or just a random thing that that you, that you took away from from having like experience working with like uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew? He's a very intense person. So his whole life uh, is dedicated to only one thing. Make sure that Singapore survive and thrive. Oh, so you- No downtime eh. Can I invite you and makan? I mean, we, we, we go makan Korean together, but yeah, so you, know, you can always <laughs> see that the mind is working overtime uh, to think of what are the things that we have to worry about. Mm. Uh, so yeah, when we meet him, he's two very simple questions uh, or, or two sets of very simple questions, usually around. Uh, one set has to do with Okay, how's the residents doing? Okay, so he wants to know whether- But maybe he's yeah. trying to make small talk with you. He wants to know about you. Yeah. But you think he's so Check intense, it. right? So you just give him a proper update. <laughs> I mean, he knows me better than I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't need to ask me. Yeah. Uh. So one is whether he, he, you know your residents, you know what's happening around. Then, then he probably wants to know whether you have a view on what's happening around the world. Uh. Right. And, but not just what's happening around the world, but What's happening around the world and, and how it affects Singapore? How it affects us? Uh. Your yeah, point yeah, of view, yeah. so I still have to prepare one. Uh. You okay. cannot prepare one. Uh. This is the thing that you know, yeah. you know, you That's don't know. That's how you see uh. whether he still, you yeah. still got Leo or not. Uh. Well, was it stressful when you were assigned to like Tanjong Pagas uh, and, and knowing that you'll be running with him? No. You uh, know you will win, uh, right? No, but I, you will Actually, under the master, at that point uh. in time, we were all running around trying to figure out where it's north, south, east, west. So, how to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Worry about that kind of things sure. at that point in time. Sure. If you didn't go into politics, right? What do you think? Like, what would you have wanted to do? Librarian. I ah. won't tell people. Librarian. Why? Oh, very simple. And then you work your way to become the chief of army, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, this not. This not. This not. You're this not, not very focused, uh, eh. It is not. <laughs> no, I, I was very focused, but I. No, this a uh, real real story. Okay, why you ask me why I want to be a librarian? Very ah. simple. I like to read books. Okay. Check. Then, where can you read books free of charge? Get paid. <laughs> and get paid. Mm. And 
Where are the aircon places that you can read book free of charge and get paid? At that point in time, library. Right. Let me think right. of another job that we can yeah. say to do that. Right. And how did I end up being in the SAF? So I went to apply for scholarship because without a scholarship, you cannot go university already. Ma, must, mm. must start to do work, right? right? So there are two blanks there. So the first one I put, public service. Uh, public service can go library, ma, right? Yep. Open scholarship. <laughs> right. Then I saw a second blank. Uh. Then I always remember my teacher say, you know, when you pass up your form for exam, uh, never leave blank. Leave mm. blank, no or blank. Correct. Yeah, yeah. when in doubt, blank no marks, right? Correct. Right. So at least we can ask my friend, hey, what other scholarship are there? Then someone told me SAF, so I put SAF. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Then when uh, then when when they interview me, they say, I want you to go SAF. I, said, I want to go library. <laughs> I was like, hey, you you SAF you, got library? You got the wrong person now. You got the wrong yeah. wrong file yeah, now because yeah. uh, I'm not the Xiao On type. You no, know? I I can hardly <laughs> run fast. I cannot shoot straight one. You know, I, yeah. I, I was like, you ask me. Then then they say yeah yeah second choice uh. second choice yeah. still a choice ma. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this chapter your entire life. Yeah. No. When? No. Life, when? life so is what, not always about the teacher that told you don't leave blank really <laughs> made your life. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Life is like that. Life you don't always get to do what you always want to do, right? right. But then no. along the way, you learn to uh, do your best and do justice to. Yeah, what you I'm very proud. Yeah. 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 My heart's also breaking, mm. but yeah. Oh, but it's okay. okay. So did I ask to join the? Army, I also don't know when they sign the SAS, they ask me Air Force, Army or Navy. Then I also don't know what is Air Force, Army or Navy. Mm. But you then, don't want to leave blank. No. So, <laughs> they, <laughs> so then they look at me, then uh, I was supposed to go Air Force. Oh. Because I don't wear specs. Yeah. Right. So so they say, go Air Force. Ah. Yeah. Then that time my mother said, uh, you're the only son, don't la. I think you Chinese, ah, jiao ta si di. Yeah. so I put my feet on the ground. La, so I infantry. Oh. Uh, so I have infantry, then I, I oh, you went from infant. You were posted to infantry, yeah. No, I started off infantry. Then they thought, okay, maybe if I don't wear specs, I go yeah. air force. So I was uh, in the that time they call it Sierra Company, uh, for right. the, for two weeks. Then after that, I my mother tell me uh, don't go air force. And I went back to infantry. infantry yeah. At which point in your from army career, to, right? Mm. Do they do you know that oh. I'm I'm on the trajectory to become chief of army. Don't have We got we got trajectory. And actually, have my, my, my life is very simple. And my mother when it, my mother when you sign on the SAF, they say they give me a scholarship, give me a job. Oh, not then, to be the best. Or then they told me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we start. Then they say that what, what's your job? They say I don't know. They tell me that I can go and take care of a platoon. Platoon means about twenty eight people. Uh. And they say sounds like something I can do lah. Right. Anyway, that time. <laughs> You got scholarship <laughs> to study, got job. You are uh. very interesting, he's a, man. He's, <laughs> a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a godsend already, you know? You're like I mean, Jon Snow. No, no he's like Forrest Gump. No, it's, it's not like, no, nowadays people choose the job, right? It's not like Jon Snow, uh, right? Mm. So yeah. then, go and become infantry. So from infantry, then you take care of 28 men. Then you look like you can take care of 28 men, then you go and take care of 100, 100, okay, then you 500, 500, okay, then you 3,000. Then yeah. uh, here's the army. <laughs> <laughs> So it's oh. it's not like well, what's next for you, man? It's not like you you library. You know you plan uh, maybe like the, the world. world. Like you got another four years left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe uh, like so interesting. So okay, Minister I, uh, Book Talk. What's yeah. your favorite book? Uh, what's my favorite book? No, I I read anything that comes along. And no, seriously, because nowadays maybe okay. Brochure, nowadays you all got uh, no toilet. Now, nowadays got e-book, right? Then you know you don't even buy books. You can go in. Uh, Kinder, Kinder, yeah. Kinder uh. Amazon, even you can. Last time, not like that. But last time, we literally go inside the library, walk down the shelf, then mm. you see whatever is available. No? I walk straight Browsing. to the comic. So, whatever. <laughs> last time, whatever <laughs> we can read, we read already. Because, okay, so my mom used to be a cleaner. So, she cleaned those MNC company, right? Mm. So, she used to bring back all the old newspapers. I mean, oh. the, the, not old newspapers, the newspapers that people throw away. So, mm. last time, when I was uh, in a JC, I, I read all kinds of things because. I wow! I was very proud. I got Financial Times. I got Far Eastern wow. Economic Review mm. because all these yeah, MNC right. they throw away the thing, right? Correct, correct. So because expensive the subscription. And subscription. Free. We we never yeah, no, subscribe. Well. So yeah. we all. So I always very proud. I, you know, last time we all have a cut out newspaper article. Not like now, lah. We all cut out. <laughs> then we have to do scrapbook, mm. uh, scrapbook. Yeah. Uh, so my scrapbook always power one because Salmon uh, in color. Uh, <laughs> my my scrapbook uh, got all these articles that people don't have one. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. all the every day when she finished cleaning, right, she will bring back the right. the all the old magazine and the newspaper. So that's how that's how we, we she must have, have such high hopes hope for you, ho, actually. Uh, for you. Don't have. We very simple. My, my our <laughs> family your, policy your, is very simple. I feel like if my son digests the economic times. I'll be like, okay, no, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be for rich. For us, it's very simple. Rule number one: better don't fail your exam. 
fail the exam, got to go, in, go for one more year, right? Repeat one more year, right? Cost money. That's cost a lot of money. Mm. Not only cost money, you come out to work one year later. Right. Waste time. So, waste time. So, rule number one. Mm. Rule number two, if she has to turn up in school, I'm dead. Right. Wow. <laughs> Really? Oh, because I got the same rules, I think. <laughs> because like that time, where, I mean, you won't have um, how you say uh, it, It's not like now because the parents need to work, right? So you yeah, no. mm. you get called up and hauled up by the principal. Uh, you probably get double, double punishment, right? One in school, then the second one is yeah. Like, what you what you make me go to yeah. uh, school and then disgrace the whole family, disgrace all the ancestors. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chinese people them serious. Now the now the parents uh, scold the teachers. Uh, hopefully not lah. Please please please. Don't lah. Main the thing don't lah. Right. Please don't lah. Don't. My parents make it a point to tell all my teachers. If you naughty, beat him. Yeah. yeah. They, they will they will not challenge to my teacher. Beat him. Uh, like right now. So yeah. did your teacher beat you or not? Go ah, Chinese teacher. Chinese teacher put my ear. Maybe the the teacher scared cause your dad is like. No, my father is the one, you beat him. Like my father like just wants to, like go ahead, give him a slap, show me. <laughs> <laughs> my son is very, he put on my ear got blood all there. Huh? But, I really asked for it. No, <laughs> last time they take this one meter wooden ruler, then they whack your knuckle, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? But that's okay, that's okay, but your ear bleed though. Like it tears eh, the ear load at the bottom tear a bit eh. No, that's cause you point at the moon. Hey, no, no, no. Before. <laughs> I before. I point the moon right, and then at uh, no the way. morning after, I couldn't. Actually, yeah. not, my mum might have saw, and then just. No, I, I also. <laughs> I really don't believe in something right. Then I go and try, try, try. Next morning, got one red line here. No, yeah. my mother said you do the polite point. It's okay. What is this? The, the, the thumb polite the, point. The, the, it's true. That yeah. guy it's true. Every time I done this, I never can. Mm. Only when I done. Oh, you're very scientific. You even point at the moon. <laughs> <or> try. <laughs> or try different yeah, ways of pointing at the moon. Well, very scientific, yo. Can you tell us a bit about like your first election experience? First election was two zero one one. Uh, so the most stressful part of the election was preparing for the election. Okay, so, uh, real story. Uh, so, election must fill up. <laughs> the whole time you say that, it makes yeah. the other stories no? <laughs> yeah, Which one is not real? One? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, very real. Okay. The so, conversation, the friend please tell me. <laughs> because, That's probably uh, the... You know, we're all in uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's constituency, right? Yeah. Mm. So, what's the most scary thing? Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> if you all lose, la, if you all lose, you all lose the PM. Uh, if we lose... No, at that time he not PM. Oh, yeah, but yeah. if we lose, Mr. it's another thing. But if we are, cannot disqualify, uh, oh. uh, that's a disaster. Right. It means uh, you never fill up your form properly, right? So, uh, so you must fill oh. up the form, make sure. Because you never fill up the form properly, uh, you go and hand in your form, uh, can get disqualified one, you know? Mm. But I would feel like you have a team for that. La. Not you feel, la. you feel. La. Oh, must feel. Oh, self-feel. Uh, <laughs> must feel, right? Got feel for you. You must go and check your own, yourself. Right, right, right. Then, then got a lot of things to fill in, right? Then you must make sure that everything is correct. Huh? Well, so, that's like when you're entering another country, then the form, right? That uh, if you feel wrong, like, I anyhow feel one in that form always. <laughs> like, where, where, where do you live? I don't know. I'm just here for a day. Or even, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a new yeah. newsletter. <laughs> so, so that part, you must make sure get get it right. Uh. Okay. Imagine one day you go to Tanjong Baga. No candidate. <laughs> <laughs> the opposition walk over. <laughs> but has it ever happened before? Uh, I was the last walk over. In, because in 2011, I don't know whether you all remember. So we submitted our form, right? So somebody was supposed, I think some opposition people want to come. Uh. Then we waited, waited, waited. No, we turned up, you know. Mm. So we thought, ah, not very good. Eh. Everybody mm. completed their form. Everybody got contest. Then oh, Tanjong Baga, no contest. Uh. Then people sure laugh at us. Uh, say we'll walk over. La, di, la, da. Mm. Right. So we all waited, waited. Then just 10 minutes before the bulletin time, uh, the, oh, somebody, one came in, ah. Uh. Well, I know like those martial art like that. Then send in the Then lit. Then we were like, oh, very relieved. Yeah. Then we thought, ah, okay, got contest already. Then uh, suddenly, hey, your form not complete. Ah, uh, yeah. Then huh? we were like, then, oh, I what a roller coaster. So the 2011 we had walk over. La. So I right. think that was the last walk over that we had in recent memories. Mm. Why right. is a walk over seen as a bad thing? No, no because people will laugh at you, ma. People say, you know, mandate. So actually walk over, we work harder, no? During the election campaign, walk over, right? So we go and help other people. But the day after the election is over, Tanjong Paga, we were the first one, uh, went out for house visit and things like that. Ours is uh, Get straight to work. To work eh? uh, yeah. Straight to work. So mm. you don't let people say, uh, hey, you never work on uh, Yeah, like y'all got it easy. Yeah. Yeah. And then as a new MP, uh, people always like to rub you on. Uh, wow, mm. never see you before. <laughs> ah, yeah. You see see you, uh, hey, election coming. Uh. Actual yeah, residents yeah. say that. Yeah, sure got people rub you on. Uh. So <laughs> one of our aim as a new MP that time uh, was that we worked so hard uh, so that nobody uh, 
we got bragging rights. Yeah, uh. Nobody yeah, can yeah. kind of rub you and say that. Hey, I've never you see never you before. Walk, so like now after 10, 11 years, right? So if anybody come out and say that at the market, uh, say that, wow, I'll never see you. Then immediately uh, people around like, Never, uh. You never seen because you never come to the market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then you're like, okay, at least I don't need to say. Like, you say nobody believe you, right? Yeah. Then your, your you also cannot say. Uh, you, say you also cannot run. say, right? Yeah. Then your yeah. resident will say that no lah. Actually, every week uh, he's here one uh, Wow, right? damn solid. Yeah. So or unless he overseas for work or unless he got some other duties, he'll mm. be there one. So you need to establish a kind of bond, but it's not easy because when you're new, right? So it takes time. Right? This thing cannot yeah. rush on. Right? This mm. thing because you you say go for house visit, right? To finish one round of house visit, uh, I try to do two house visits per week. Just to finish one round, uh, it takes me three, four years now. <gasps> wow. Every That's house, man. You, not on every house? You not on every house? Not say every house. My MP knocked twice. Uh, uh, twice I knock at home. I'm very wasted. I'm waiting for yeah. this moment. Eh. Yeah. So, yeah. so you knock. Even if you knock, uh, not every video open, uh, it will take you that time. Because oh, you imagine, uh, yeah. one house you spend five minutes. One hour you spend, if every one you knock, uh, Mm. Over one house you spend five minutes uh, five minutes one hour twelve only no we all have like twenty thousand houses no in our constituency easily if a house you visit right the guy like talking non-stop right then how do you leave they got volunteers uh, <laughs> depends on what he's on then you listen uh, you listen but if he's really <laughs> like them lost or then like no going in circles okay then you, you must be a bit uh empathetic uh, because you you don't judge people and say that why you so lost or why you yeah uh, because some people may be a bit troubled. Right, right, right. And usually, I, I say uh, in the five minutes, uh, you have to use all your five senses, uh, your sight, your smell, mm. your uh, ears, everything to see whether the person uh, is um, troubled or got some trouble. Sometimes they don't tell you. Right. But you look at the house, mm. you see the behavior, you can tell quite a lot of things. Uh. Mm. Then you try to ask, a few gentle questions. Then you figure out. Then usually for us, then we'll take note. Uh, let's say if this house, we think potentially got some problem, then we'll make sure that the neighbors, the the RC, go and visit them. Like follow up. La. Right. Okay, okay. You because, mean, the, the, are there causes or not? Like when you go and become an mm. MP, right? Or yeah. especially for for example, for, for PAP, right? Where you all must have a system in place now. You all need to breed the next generation, next generation, right? Like, is there like a, like a 101 like uh, you all have to learn how, how to give therapy, for example, like without no, certification, no, uh, Not say give therapy. How to give a speech? Say, how to walk properly? No lah, this sort of thing. <laughs> but a lot of the people they don't just emerge from nowhere, one, right? So they usually they would have help out. They would have seen what's the work required. Let's say like for example, I, I have volunteers. They will be walk, walking with me. They're working right. with me. So it's not as if like there's a <clears throat> okay chapter one must like that chapter two must like. But as you talk to more people, uh, you uh, get a sense of who are the people that uh, may need a bit more help. On the other right. hand, you can also figure out who are the people who may be able to give other people help. It's, it's not that every house you knock on, uh, it's like, hey, what's your trouble? Uh? Then mm. every house tell you their trouble. It's not. Some people, they also want to help. Uh? So then you try to match people. So like in my constituency, right? so some some younger people, not so old one, they say, hey, I learned to help. I say, well, very simple. Then your block, right? Uh, there are these two, three units, uh, a bit lonely when uh, the elderly staying alone man. Mm. so I say can you just do me a favor every now and then you kepo a bit or you you knock on their door try to establish a report mm. talk to them uh. then that's enough already so right. it's as simple mm. as that so you don't need like donate money or whatever yeah. that kind of big big things uh. but sometimes it's just a simple gesture that we all need uh. so we also try to match uh, right. those people who but someone will go introduce that further to that lady uh, so usually we all uh, uh, okay. do it'll be so weird it's like oh, otherwise let me come and check on you like, <laughs> think long MP asked me come and see you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like 14 years old eh, like. <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching today's episode of The Daily Catch-Up and thank you, Minister, for joining us here today and yeah, being thank you. very casual with us. Yeah, thank yes, you. Comment down below all your thoughts from today's episode. Like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Actually, I know how to do this also. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, next hey. thing, next thing. Hey. Every time when we do recording, uh, then we have to do this. Ah, they make you clap yourself, ah? Uh. Uh, no, nah, just be a bit more helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>